everyone it's ant here and uh i just gotta talk about this shit because um today is cpt1 we are about three hours four hours in uh, and we'll see cpt1 so the bounce changes there are some new bounce changes rolling out so i want to talk about this let's go to general here so we're talking about how um it will be confirmed that uh, dart thrower, the attack interval, will be nerfed into one second, which was 0 0.9 before that. And uh, possible changes throughout the close beta testing would be da uh, dart cost might go up to 4, or the HP buff because of cost 4, so you know. Or dart 3 will only stack up to 3 to 4 times. There's basically some ideas about it. And also, slinger would be may have may will be nerfed and um we won't know too much i'll explain in detail um how this uh, meta is gonna go so first of all the best idea which um pre and i pre is a very good player so he's up for alpha testing so i made this tier list with him uh he said that he has not experimented much with batter and wood carver and he expects wood carver to be out sh shown by dart um, by the dart thrower right now and wood carver would probably be a, the second meta if um if dart thrower fails so we're building a deck um we're, we're building one deck here and uh it seems like the tier list is built around that deck too which is um you have eight units in deck correct so you have 10 units in game and you would take away uh, one heavy unit so here we have the wood carver taken away right here and then we also have the batter taken away so I'll explain this deck. So first of all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have the dart thrower, the slinger, the bucketeer, gnome, um, scarecrow, farmer, um, archer, and also the haymaker. I'll explain uh, what everything means. I know you see a lot of things over here, like um, one plus three. Oh, and then you can see these icons. I'll explain them. So first of all, on top left corner, that would be the stage, the stage that you are playing this on. So for say, O, O will be opener. It will be the openers that you select at the start of the round. It will be automatically placed. So Dark Thor is an opener, is your opener. And your second opener will also be Archer. So you want to start with these two units because they are always going to be broken. And on the round first, you also want to go for E. So E is going to be farmer. A farmer is good at zero upgrades for two cost. He can deal a lot of damage. So he's very, very strong. And he goes well with the Slinger here. You can see the Slinger here. I know, I know the... The pictures aren't that good because I'm just we don't have a fan kit yet, so please bear with me over here. But today we're talking about Slinger, and then we're gonna have Archer um, with the Dart Thrower over here. So everything's gonna be broken. We're talking about three damn synergies over here. You know, without the Wood Carver, we would have two with the Slinger, with the um, Wood Carver, no, with the Archer, with the Dart Thrower. We have three in a row, and we got um, our baby over here, right here. You know, farmer. So farmer, you don't want to upgrade him. He'll stay at uh, one cost. That'll be round one. So you are already guarantee that win. So based on the response, it'll be either scarecrow, probably scarecrow, crow, because it counter. It does counter um, the archer and the dart thrower. So here you might see the scarecrow, and you want to counter with that with no on round three, but possibly you also want to play a scarecrow yourself on round two so you would do that and response to gnome you would play something like gnome might go two so upgrade two two plus one you can see here i explain the upgrades here upgrades would be um one plus three two plus one little this basically um either three you see this rainbow it means it's more important it's must upgrade so one plus three two plus one to uh, two plus three so it explains what upgrades you want for say dart thrower you want one plus three. Oh no sorry it should be one plus two oh i messed up here i messed up here so it should be one plus two it, was, it should be one plus two here so you want to go for the first upgrade and then the second upgrade both of them are very important so you can see uh three slingshot gives the buff to the side enemies that's why it's so good with the archer and the uh, dark goblin no 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 not the dark goblin dart thrower so you got here the uh the bucketeer very good range very good against um dart thrower but it's not a direct counter so his second ability is really op it just heals all your allies 25 percent uh, it's damn crazy so you want to go with the wood carver because that's really good too but in general he's also a good unit not just defending against ranged or healing your melee allies you got a gnome over here countering a tank because he does 60 damage on impact and that's absolutely broken and he doesn't need a lot of um, stuff but he can go for the second trick which is he basically pierces through so you would want to play the bucketeer or the haymaker right after 
um, the gnome hits the second skill. So you would protect your ranged allies after your scarecrow, which it's aimed at. Um, so that's the entire of the uh, entirety of the deck. I hope you guys understand. And uh, at the bottom, you can see these. These are green. Green means means synergy. So slingshot is really good with this dart thrower. Red means uh, what it is countered by. So uh, dart thrower is countered by scarecrow. And we can see uh, yellow over here. Yellow means what it counters. So gnome counters um, our scarecrow over here. So I hope you guys enjoy this deck. Uh, we will take away batter and the. And the woodcarver. Uh, after this, I might upload some videos regarding the woodcarver, how to use him, and possibly build some decks around him. So that will be CBT one. CBT one is told to have uh, two weeks, and probably about in two three months we'll have the next CBT, which will be CBT two. Uh, make sure to join the Discord server for tricky tactics, and you guys will be able to sign up for CBT two if you guys are interested. And uh, please. Again, subscribe, like, and leave comments for questions you guys have so I can get to you guys, uh, interact with the community, and that will help me a lot actually with subscribing and liking.